That's enough of that, I think. Magic touch? Yeah, you reckon you come round the scrapyard and shut Jimmy up? No. I was worried he'd never bond with me properly, the way everything was kind of interrupted. You know, actually, you were with him loads. Yeah, me and Vic made sure of that. We brought him in all the time. You just... you didn't know it. Maybe that's what made the difference. No. I just think you're a natural. Where are you going? Uh, back to work. And then I'm gonna go meet Aaron for something to eat later. Can I come? What, to the scrapyard? No, with you and Aaron. Come on, Robert. What's the problem? You said it yourself. If we're gonna make this work, we all need to rub along together one way or another. Might as well start now. OK, I'll, um, I'll text you that, yeah? Do you want a wait about surprising you at work? But then I saw the car outside and I guessed you'd be, uh... What's the matter? What's it's the matter? Why should anything have to be the matter for me to pop in and see my two favourite boys? Do you fancy a couple? In a sec. First, I want to talk to you about a proposition. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the flat. The other one next door. It's still empty, isn't it? Well, it's nearly finished and we're looking for a tenant. Well, there you go, then. You found her. It's not cheap and... No, what he means is it's got to pay what it owes, so we can't do any favours. And I would not be asking for any. But I heard it was lying empty, and while I'm seeking a bit of employment, I thought, why don't I help those two lads out? What, what, what do you mean, help us out? They've got a spare room, so what if I keep there for a little while while I'm building up my deposit, do a bit of work around the house, you know, for free and all, and then, when I'm ready, they get themselves a tenant, a reliable one, and we've all done each other a favour. Win-win. Hang on, what, you, what, moving here? Why did you let her in? She's your grandmother, weren't we? Just don't let her in the house. What do you mean, all that? I told you. It makes so much sense, doesn't it? We don't have to talk about everything now, but. <sighs> I love that brew now. Not even allowed to finish my brew. You're in such a hurry to get rid. Is that what family means these Grand, days? We haven't got room for a lodger, I'm sorry. It's only till I've got the money for my own place. You don't realise you'd be getting a cook and cleaner and all. We don't need a cook. We could do with a cleaner from what I saw. I don't understand. Why aren't you asked Eric? Because I'm nobody's charity case, is why. Oh, you don't mind being ours. Your family. Go and ask him. He'd be hurt to think that you'd come here without speaking to him first. Sorry, Gran. 